Good afternoon. I would like to introduce my patient, Joseph Amata and Luca. Joseph had a sleep apnea oral appliance therapy for the last four years, and he would like to share his experience. I'm going to have some questions for Joseph. And Joseph, I'm so thankful for Joseph what he can share his story with us. And of course, Luca participation was very important because Luca would come to the office sometimes to support Joseph. And we were very happy and entertained by Luca presence. Uh, my question, my first question to you, Joseph, what was your experience before you start treatment in our office? How you find out about your diagnosis? What was the most upsetting episodes with your sleep? Please share your story with us. Well, you know, for me, I had a very hard time sleeping through the night. Um, I would get up and, uh, you know, walk to the kitchen and typically reach for something to eat. Um, and the other uh, sort of symptom I had was weight gain. Um, I, I, of course, I didn't know I had the sleep apnea until I was diagnosed. So my journey really started with um, recognizing that I had a problem with weight and going to the, the weight loss doctor. Um, and the first question that doctor asked me was, how do you sleep? And the next thing I know, I was taking a sleep uh, test through the doctor's supervision, and I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. And, um, and so that's how my journey started. Uh, to, to, you know, the treatment with sleep apnea for me was very interconnected with my weight loss. I would like to share your heroic effort and your story, what really inspire, inspiring to me and to a lot of people around me, what you lost a lot of weight. And of course, you know, losing weight, so interconnected with sleep. And I just want to share one part of information about you. You had a severe sleep apnea. You stopped breathing every minute. And of yes. course, feeling like you feel to find the courage to lose weight. You know, we talk about breaking the circle and all this and, you know, your journey towards the fridge. Um, um, tell us your experience with the CPAP machine and oral appliance and uh, all yeah. other things of what help you to, you know, to become yeah. who you are right now. Well, you know, uh, the sleep uh, after your machine or the CPAP machine was what the doctor recommended as the first line of defense. And so I did go down that road initially, but for me, I tried it and I could not do it. I tried so hard to do the sleep apnea machine with the hoses and the masks and I couldn't do it. And so when I came to realize that there was another option with the sleep appliance, I was like thrilled, right? And, um, and so the doctor said, okay, you could, let's look at this other option and if you promise me that you'll lose the weight, <laughs> you know, this could be, uh, you know, the path that you, you, you take. And, and that's ultimately what, what I did. It was a common, but, but it was um, connected, right? So your health picture is all part of uh, a, a cycle or a circle. And, and I really learned a lot and uh, going through the process, but the sleep apnea appliance for me is, is, is the best is the best. I, I, I would tell it to everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so pleased to hear that. Can you please tell us what's your, a lot of people concern, what would be the, is going to change their routine. Tell us your routine with oral appliance, like what you do, what you have to go through to sleep with oral appliance, how, you know, you look with yeah. oral appliance, those little details, what's so important for the life, for the most intimate part of the human life. So the oral appliance is, is fitted to your exact specifications. So it's very easy to get accustomed to. Um, for me anyway, it only took a few, a few days to, to get comfortable um, and get used to wearing this. And, um, you know, it, it addressed a lot of things. Like I also was a grinder in terms of grinding my teeth down and this also prevents grinding. You know, I was grinding so much that my mandibular muscles were like accentuated, right? Um, because I was grinding all night. And uh, not to mention the wear and tear of my dental work. So that's another um, uh, benefit, right? The weight loss is, I think, as a result of, because I'm getting the sound sleep at night, 
I am able to, uh, you know, uh, adjust my hormonal hormonal levels like you should when you're sleeping, and 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 get that restful sleep so so you can lose weight and reduce your cortisol levels. You know, um, the other thing I I learned by doing this is breathing techniques such as breathing through my nose. I did not ever think that there was a, 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 a and even an issue with it. But Dr. Sokolina, you taught me to be cognizant of breathing through my nose. And I do that every night in addition to rinsing out my nose with the Neil Med solution, that's just one brand, but any saline solution. Um, and I didn't have to go through any kind of other surgery. Like for example, I have a deviated septum. Um, I also never got my tonsils out. And sometimes people go immediately to, oh, I had to get my tonsils out or I have to fix the deviated septum. That's surgery, right? I didn't have to go through that at all. Uh, um, I still have a deviated septum. But, you know, now that I'm following these other techniques, I have corrected, you know, my sleep apnea. Can you share with our listeners from what amount, you know, how much weight you lost? So, you know, again, it, there's no magic bullet, but it took me about 18 months to 20 months to lose um, between 80 and 90 pounds. So I, I, my weight was 305 when I, when I began and, um, and, and now I'm um, between 215 and 220. And that's pretty much my normal weight as an adult that I was before I kind of, you know, gotten sick with this is mm -hmm. issue. Um, but the weight loss is, 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 is a side, or I look at it as a side benefit, right? Because the weight adds so many other risk factors. Like I had borderline diabetes. I also had high blood pressure. I no longer take the blood pressure pills and I no longer am at all, you know, pre-diabetic, right? Um, and so all my, all my blood levels are normal. And so it's amazing. Uh, and, I, and I have to tell you that uh, this experience for me was so, so profound. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so pleased to hear that. You know, the one most important question what a lot of people ask, can you please tell us how to start the conversation if you in a relationship with somebody who you love and that person snore, a lot of people cannot share the same bedroom. They cannot sleep in the same house. You know, it's such a most intimate zone. What would be your tips to address that, to start that conversation? Well, gone, gone through this experience, I would say to approach it as just being a concerned partner for their health, right? So, you know, I'm, I want my partner to be around for a, a very long time. And I would prefer that, you know, he address, and it's not, it's, it's about an over, the overall health picture, right? Snoring is one symptom, right, uh, of sleep apnea. It can be very annoying for your partner. Um, and, and, and now it, it can be addressed, right? And it can be addressed pretty easily. Um, and and uh, so I would just approach it in with love and, and concern. Well, I really appreciate your time, Joseph. Thank you very much. It was such a pleasure. And especially your part about nose breathing, how that changed your life. If you can say a couple words about that, because a lot of people, they come to us and say, I cannot take enough air from my nose. I use my mouth. If you can, you know, yeah, accentuate. I, it, uh, for me, I did breathe a lot through my mouth because I didn't know that there was any real health difference or, you know, reason, you know, I just figured out. But once you get used to relaxing and, and breathing through your nose, you get plenty of air. <laughs> you know, it's just a, it's just a matter of relaxing, getting used to it. I mean, the, na the, the nasal rinse absolutely helps. Um, you know, just consciously keeping your mouth, you know, you even told me one time to use tape, right? And I did start with the tape, but once I got used to it, I didn't need it anymore. But the tape was one way to remember. And, and there were so many benefits to breathing out of your nose. It actually even relaxes you sooner than it, than it of breathing. Of course. Because your nose is meant to be <laughs> For breathing. You know, that way, right? Yeah. So, 
Um, but again, I had to educate myself and you educated me, really. Um, I was oblivious to all of this. Um, and so now I'm a huge advocate because I lived through it and I saw it. I saw the success. And listen, you know, everybody's different, but I would say that start your journey through visiting a doctor and visiting uh, a professional and, 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 and devise a treatment plan. But do not think that CPAC machine is your only alternative because really I think it should be the last alternative. The first alternative would be to, you know, get the sleep app you know, appliance. And also the other benefit is help your grinding. A lot of people grind, right? Yes. Uh, there's so many benefits. And, uh, and, and as far as Harmony Dental, I, I looked at five dental offices before I came to you and you were the only one that was offered the flexibility in terms of the payment options, in terms of the insurance, and just an overall feeling of your office. It made me feel like family. And I truly say that from the Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. And you know, the nice words, it means so much to us. Uh, thank you very much. I really hope that conversation helped to bridge medical and dental community in helping people like you and people who suffer from bad sleep, from sleep apnea and other complication and improve overall health for a lot of people. And due to your story, a lot of people would consider a different option. Thank you very much, Joseph. It's so much pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Sokolina.